Hey everyone, today we're going to solve a subtraction problem, working it out style. Okay, and if you've ever seen any of my working it out videos, then you know that I really like to show how I tackle a word problem and go through it step by step so that you can build your confidence. All right, so let's start by reading through the problem once just to understand it. We're not going to start working with the numbers yet. We're just going to read the problem. So this one says that Greg wants to write a 250 page graphic novel and get it published. He wrote 109 pages in August. Then he wrote 56 pages in September. How many more pages does he need to write to finish the 250 page book? Okay, so now we can just kind of start with just talking about the problem in general. So it sounds like he wants to write 250 pages. He's written a little bit in August, a little bit in September, and it sounds like he has some more to write to get up to the 250. So that sounds like a clue that can help us solve this. Now I'm going to read it one more time. And this time I'm going to highlight the important things that I think will help me when I'm solving it. Okay, so Greg wants to write a 250 page graphic novel and get it published. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to highlight the 250 page I don't really need to know what type of book it is and that he's getting it, wants to get it published. I just need to know that 250 pages. Then he wrote 109 pages in August. So I'm going to highlight those pages. Then he wrote 56 pages in September. So let's highlight the 56 pages. How many more? Ooh, that sounds important. How many more pages does he need to write to finish the 250 page book? So let's highlight how many more. That sounds like a clue that we can work with. Okay, then I'm looking at the answer choices are 103, 89, 85, and 150. And so now I'm ready to move over to the whiteboard and start working this out. Okay, so I think when it comes to a problem like this, and I know that I know the total pages of his book, that always makes me think of a strip diagram. So I like to make a rectangle, split it in half like that. In this problem, I know that the total is 250. 50 pages. And then I know that he wrote some in August. I kind of think about how many parts I need next. He wrote some in August, some in September, and then he's got some that he still needs to write. So I'm going to make three little sections. So what did he write in August? Great, 109. What did he write in September? You got it, 56. And then this one, we don't know yet because he needs to write more to get up to that 250. So you can kind of see that the this space right here is the same length as this total up here. So now I'm gonna think through what I can do to solve this. So. I think something that would be helpful is to find out how much is this that he's already written. If I add these two, then I'll know this chunk right here, and I'm one step closer to finding out the mystery right here. So let's go ahead and do 109 plus 56. And if you want to pause the video and try this out, we can come back and check your work. Okay, 9 plus 6 is 15. 5 plus the 1 is 6. And then the 1. So that means he wrote 
165 pages so far, and we want to get up to 250. So what can we do with these two numbers? Okay, and let's think it through. Sometimes I like to just try something. If I added those pages, that would get me a bigger answer than 250. So what do you think? Okay, I bet some of you are saying, well, he didn't write more than 250 pages. That is the total. So we better subtract. It's okay to make a guess and then realize, you know, think about is that, does that make sense? Is that a reasonable answer? So now let's subtract. And if you want to pause the video again, we can come back and check your work. Okay, so I see this zero here, which means I have to regroup. I'm gonna come over here and take a 10, and it makes 10 ones. Okay, subtract. Here, I've gotta do it again. I'm gonna take a 100, and it makes 10 more tens. 14 minus six is eight. And one minus one is zero or nothing. I'm gonna leave that blank there. So that means he needs to write 85 pages to get all the way up to the 250. So which answer choice should we go with? You got it, C. Great job.